Howdy y'all, my name is Price. I'm coming at you once again with another episode of Stumped Force! Yeah! Alright, let's just go ahead and jump right in because as you know, this kind of stuff can take a little bit of time. So, let's go through our messages. Having fun, kids, from Ferdinand G. What a forgetful uncle you have, Price. We haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things at my warehouse? I hope you have all the space you need. I told Joe to go fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. She's been there since I brought in the Cerebro device last summer. Probably snuck into the box or something like that. Cats are always nice to have around. I hope the little fellow inspires you to create new things. Oh, Marketing! Greetings, representative of Stump Entertainment. My name is Ronaldo Sampaio. I'm manager at Mad Folks Marketing Agency. Ha, <laughs> Mad Men. Uh, we guarantee you a 15% increase in your audience on every episode. We have a deal. Uh, it's free for the first week. Uh, yes, we do want to do this, I believe. Um, so let's do it. Glad to do business with you. I'm sure you'll love our services and will enjoy your new audience levels. Uh, marketing is a thing that's definitely important in this game. Uh, let's see. Dr. Mia. How are you doing, my old friends? We all know that I'm the only reason why your new show is any good. I know that our last moments weren't so great. We were in a bad situation because of the ideas you've stolen from me. Let's get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. I'll see you in court, or you pay me tributes for my ideas, or I'll be your new director. I hope you understand the situation. Everything will be all right. Okay, what would I do here? So Dr. Mia is obviously our old evil director who we don't want. Um, I think uh, we see him in court. I don't think that you own the concept um, that is Super Sentai and all that kind of stuff, all right? It's a very broad concept. That'd be like saying, I own superheroes. You don't own superheroes. Screw you, Dr. Mia. We'll see you in court. Back off. All right, cool. Well, with that, we got a little bit of money. Oh, we got marketing now. So this is the thing that we just got for free. We have our Mad Folks Agency. We get plus 15% audience per episode. It costs us 50 per episode, but we get it for free for the first week or something like that. And now we get to pick some of these to use our fan power on. So we can get $80 per episode. Not bad. Plus 10% audience per episode would be pretty good. 100 episodes starting audience. So give us a little boost to beginning or income conversion. Well, looking at what we can, we have enough to get either both of these or both of these. And I think, oh wait, do we have enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have enough for both. Um, so I want more audience, starting audience, or on income conversion rate. I kind of feel like it's best to just go for overall audience boost, getting more fans. Um, but maybe we want the income conversion rate. Hey, let's do this one. So we're going to get plus 10% audience per episode, and we're going to start with 100 episode uh, starting audience. So I think that'll be good. And then as we gain more audience, we'll be able to increase our marketing with our fan power. Okay, um, crafting. we got a little bit of crafting that we can do, so uh, we can make two bucket helmets. So we're going to do that for sure. Who do we want to equip them on? I think we've been boosting all of our other characters quite a bit. we got plus 12 attack, plus 12 health on this. So I say we give it to... Let's give it to Jazz. She could use that for sure. Uh, and let's do another one. Let's see. This one gives plus to critical as well as health. So we'll, we'll give that to... Man, I mean... Rick could probably use that because he's the critical guy. I was going to give it to Ash, but... Uh, Ash has already got a good amount of health because he's the leader anyways. And getting up to 18% would be really good for Rick, I think. So yeah, we'll do that. So now we've got two people in bucket helmets. That's great. We could also make some more boots. Uh, why not? Let's make some more boots. Okay, uh, who doesn't have them? Let's see. So these two already have them. Ash. So who do we want to get more dodge percentage? We'll give it to Ash, I think. Let's make some more boots. What does Price get? Oh, there's a counter one. Let's give the counter to Pixel, because she's already at 15%. Going up to 20 is going to be great. Uh, and one last one, which is skill regen. Oh, that one is going to Pixel. So I will go to the actors thing, and then I will equip price with the other ones which will be these ones okay now let's go back to crafting and we're going to recycle all that old stuff see what else we get because we could also make some more gloves maybe um and then we will move forward into our episodes my goodness some of this just like preparing stuff takes a little bit of time but that's okay that's okay it's all about getting the stuff done all right, man, I love this game. Just like these, the style of this game is so freaking good. Okay, back to crafting. Uh, we can make some gloves. We can make several pair, actually. So let's do that. Oh, can we make any weapons? We can, we can make another sword. Awesome, let's do that. Okay, it's got skill regen up. It's got dodge up. I think that's going to jazz. I, I think, ooh, could be good for Rick too, though. What moves do they have? Rick has... The stun spin move, right? That would be really good. Oh, um. Yeah, we're giving it to Rick. 
If we can make another gun, I might consider giving that to Jazz, because we often have to do that thing where we like keep her out of the fight for like the first move just so we can get everyone else into position. So having her have a gun would actually be a benefit, even though in the future we won't want that. All right, so we got plus 10% counter uh, gloves. Um, let's see. Ooh, wow. Jazz up to 45% counter. She's going to be countering all the time. That's rad. Okay. Now we got one with bonus to attack. Um, who do we give a bonus to attack to? Ash is already pretty tough. Let's give it to Rick. Yeah. And counter. Let's do another one. We can make one more. And this one gives plus 15 health and counter. Um, let us... Wait, is this... Oh, so he's already got some on. Because it takes him down. I'm confused at what's going on there. Um, oh, he's at minus. That's right. This character has a negative on these things. Um, okay. We will give it, I think, to Pixel. Because Ash still already has a ton of health. Okay. Moving on to the next round, I think. Okay, barrel and roll. Director's instructions, part one. Defeat the boss monster with a finishing move. Attack the boss monster with the lead three times. Let's remember to do this stuff. I always forget. I get so behind in, like, thinking about this stuff. Okay. Oh, those costumes. Er, why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, mister? I am a high-value stunt actor, and your silly costumes are beneath me. Okay, man. Wait, what? We have a contract for this episode. So get back to the dressing room and wear whatever costume is in there. We'll even let you use the teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We'll move to the set and start recording while you change, okay? Aye, aye. <laughs> oh, he's like a pirate. Okay. I'll have to do that. All right, let's move now. Do, 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 do. Oh, cool, we're in the park. Let's do it. Okay. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? A few moments later. Hey, you're still a barrel. Still not in proper costume. We can't record like that, my friend. This is my costume. I'm the barrel man, and I'm gonna roll all over ya. Okay, we got a couple of those, uh, the beakers. Definitely want to take them out, as per usual. I just find them so annoying if you don't kill them quickly. Okay, that's enough. You're gonna roll back where you came from. Just don't roll over us, boss! Alright, defeat the boss monster with a finishing move, attack the boss monster with the lead three times. That shouldn't be too hard. And we can stumpify right off the bat because of our bonus hundred... Uh, our bonus hundred... What you call it? Uh, audience. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Jazz to launch... Rick somewhere so that I can then stumpify and that'll bring everybody near there. Oh, but then it'll push away the enemies. So we'll just wait and we're going to save stumpifying for the next round because it heals as well so I can take some damage but still be fine. Uh, can everybody reach? Oh, not everybody can reach. That was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I forgot that Rick is the one with all the uh, range. Well, maybe I will have to do it then. Okay, um, let us go here. Do, 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 do. We'll do this. Stumpify. All right, now we're in a slightly... <laughs> put it back in. We're in a slightly more central location. Uh, okay, let's move on. So Jazzy is still in teamwork mode from here. So we can send Ash and... We'll send Pixel, I think? I think that'll be a good combo. Because Ash can do a ton of damage. Oh, hey, Ash could probably kill him just with one, with a sword. So actually, we'll send Ash over here. Price and Pixel the other way. Yep, gotcha. Bam! All right, and then Pixel can actually get there on her own. Cool. Do work. And then Price, launch to there. Perfect. Let's take him out. Boom, perfect. Good. I did not want to leave them around. Okay, and then we just have to teamwork because uh, can't move anymore. All right, so now we're just dealing with little minis, little um, putty type guys, so that's not so bad. Nice dodge. Doesn't Jazz have amazing counter? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, interesting choice of position. 
Um, because that's exactly where we are. All right, let's do some teamwork. Uh, I could launch you all the way over there, start doing some damage to this guy. Honestly, though, I feel like it's probably better for us to whittle away at these guys. So how far can you get? Not very far. Not very far at all. Uh, but we do need to continue to move you at least closer. So let's do one of those. Let's get you... Oh, I've made some mistakes. Oh, I've made some mistakes. That's fine. Let's kill you. Okay. Uh, let us... Let's do one of these. Use our weakness move. As we can. And... Between you two, you're both totally fine. So let's use you on teamwork. And... Wait, do they both have guns? They might. Yeah, we can both shoot them. Together! Kablow! Look at his health. That was good. That was a solid hit. So next round we kill the putties, and then I think after that we take out Barrel Man. Barrel roll! Alright, so that hit Pixel. Okay. But he stopped there. So that's the only thing that's going to be difficult on this guy, I think, is just the fact that he is so maneuverable. Alright, Rick, you can do it! Damn it! I had a feeling that might happen. That sucks. Okay. Uh, Jazz, can you kill him? Perfect. And we'll see if Ash can kill this guy. Nice! Perfect. Alright, so now we're just down to Barrel Man. So, let's do one of these. Let's get closer. Let's get Pixel closer as well, because she can heal when she does this. And you can just do teamwork, and that'll do that. Now we're just waiting on killing the barrel roll guy. Perfect! He's in a much closer position. Okay. Uh, you can make it all the way there. Can you make it there, Ash? Oh, you're the worst. Oh, but you can use your, uh, your move to get him closer. Perfect. Perfect. And I had to finish him move over it, so I have a feeling that we can actually defeat him uh, on this. So let's get Rick into position. Let's get Jazz on teamwork, which means everyone else should easily be able to get into position. Let's do one of these. Let's get Pixel. And then Ash. Say it, my friend. Say it. I'm a bear! <laughs> Boop, bop, doo -doo, boop. <laughs> yeah! Did it! Defeated him with a finishing move. Oh, I didn't attack him. Oh, son of a bitch. I always do it. I get so ahead of myself. Now that's an explosion. I just get so excited, y'all. get way too excited. I've been drinking too much coffee today. I think that's what's doing it. Okay. But still, we got 1,500 plus a bonus of 375. What's that bonus from? Is that from our marketing? That must be. Awesome. And that's great. See? We get way more out of it by focusing on that. And we might have enough uh, fan power to get another thing. So many good shows to watch now. Just add Stump Force to the pile. Thought all the good and love on this episode was very ham-fisted. Uh, I wish Stump Entertainment would buy some new gear for their show. Doge Kruger approves of this episode. All right, Doge Kruger. I'm cool with that. All right, we got some money. Our game has been saved. Okay. Let's check out our marketing. Okay. Now we can... We have to pay for our marketing. So we got it for free for that first episode. I like these guys. They're 50 per episode, 40 per episode. Let's see. Income conversion uh, plus the money. So that's all money focused. Audience, audience, fans. But you lose fans. So that I, I, I don't like these ones where you have to give up something for it. Um, so it's either, it's one of those ones. All right, no subject. Be careful, you are in danger. Okay. Uh, a message from Jupiter. Hey, friends, it's Takeda from Cyber Police. I'm writing to congratulate you, Stumped Entertainment. You are doing such a great job, and I really hope we can record something together sometime. Stump Force is amazing. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Tomoko sent a hug. Her Venus armor that you designed turned out really good, but we crafted it too late for our season finale. Hearing from you is super inspiring. We are crafting our own suits now. Hearing from you is super inspiring. I'm glad to hear it. We need more amazing shows like yours. I'll spread the word about it for everyone to know from the Sentai industry. Awesome! Okay, um... Who do we want? These guys, this was a really good one, I think. So we're going to use these guys again. We'll go for the, the three episode deal. And if we can get all three of these. Oh, 18 fans per episode. Just just a bonus. Um, well, if we can do both of those. All right, and then we'll do that. Perfect. So that's, I mean, that's three bonuses now that we get. So that's great. Um, back. Let's look at our crafting. Uh, nothing new to craft. So that's fine. How about shop? Is there anything we should buy? Um, I could buy a gun for Jazz. Like I said, that might be something useful. Uh, maybe. Sure, let's do it. Alright, and then Rick's got a sword. Ash has a sword. 
Uh, and then they've both got guns. So we have three guns and we have two swords going on right now. That's fine. All right, and we're going to save the rest of our money for now. Oh, actually, no, the, the, the armor's pretty cheap. Now that I think about it. So who else wants a skill regen armor? You've already gotten armor on because you got the one that we built. So you two are going to get health armors, I think. So let's buy and equip you. Let's buy and equip you. Perfect. Ash is a tank now. My goodness, 300 health. Okay. And uh, yeah, now let's move on to the next episode. This might be the season finale. Oh, man. Oh, this is three-parter. You know what? My goodness, this is going to be a long one. I might have to, I might have to say let's uh, cut the episode early. Uh, because that is going to be a long one to get through. Let me just look at some things real quick. All right. Let us go into our crafting. Can we recycle? Yeah, we do have a couple things to recycle. Let's recycle a couple things. We're going to end the episode here, and the next episode will be the season finale for this um, season of Stump Force, because, holy crap, it's going to be a long one. It's a three-part mission. That'll be a whole, uh, a whole long one there. Okay, y'all. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Stumped Force, be sure to check in tomorrow with another episode. It's going to be a good time. We're going to do the season finale. We'll make it to season two of Stump Force. I'm so excited for that. All right, y'all. Be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see y'all next time.